Welcome to another section of your program. My name is Pastor Victor Ola, and I believe that the Lord has been using this program to bless you. And I believe that today you will be abundantly blessed in the name of Jesus. This is your program, Christian Faith, and I believe that God Almighty will enrich you mightily in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Ancient of days, we thank you. King of kings, we honor you. Lord of Lord, we glorify your name. We thank you for a wonderful time to come before your throne to magnify your holy name. We are grateful because you have brought us from a long mighty way to reveal your son in us to do your will. At this hour, Father, you said your word, that comfort out of your mouth will never come back to you void, but it must fulfill the purpose of its accomplishment. You said the way the rain pour rain to the earth and give seed to the sower and bread to the ether, so shall your word that comfort out of our mouth, O Lord. I decree this hour that your word that we come forth out of my mouth, Lord, shall minister healing, life, deliverance, breakthrough into the life of your people in the name of Jesus. As they hear my word this hour, let your divine blessing be upon their life, be upon their family, and let your word heal as many. Let your word, O Lord, transform their life, and let the word of God give them breakthrough that they desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. I decrease while you increase. Use this vessel to glorify your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayer. Today, I want to talk to us about the power of an open door. The power of an open door. And our text shall be taken from Revelation chapter 3. I read from verse 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 3. From verse 7 to 8. And to the angels of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, say he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the keys of David, he that openeth and no man can shut it, and shut it and no man can open. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Welcome, brethren, once again at this hour, the power of an open door. Sometimes ago, I have uh, a bunch of kills, and I wanted to enter into my house. But unfortunately, when I got there, the key that I have was not the right key that I wanted to use to open the door. So unfortunately, I ended up unable to open the door. And I believe if you, don't, if you do not have the right key, there is no way you can enter anywhere you want to enter. And today I come to let you know that you need the right key. You need the right key to be able to enter even into the presence of the Lord. Here in this particular text, we know that the church in Philadelphia, they were small. The church in Philadelphia, they were the people that are zealous for the things of God. They have passion for the things of God. They want to do what God has called them to do. And the Lord said, he said, I've given thee the keys of David. The keys of David is a symbol of authority and a symbol of power. And this is the same key that Christ has given to each and every one of us as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, that key has been given to you. Because from the lineage of David, from Isaiah, from Isaiah chapter of 22 verse 22 Isaiah said it that he has opened door that no man can shut and he has shut the door that no man can open. The, 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 the book of Isaiah in 22 talked about the, the king of es es the king Ezekiah who has his, his Sheba as the prime minister and when Sheba became the prime minister anything that wants to God that must come to the king of Ezekiah must first of all reach Sheba first. And after that, 
Before you can reach the king Ezekiah, you must get to him. Today, Christ has given us the access to the Father. Christ has given us the victory on the cross of Calvary. Christ has given us the authority to be able to rule and reign as the king and prince for God. I come to let you know today that the door that you need to succeed in life has been opened unto you. The door that you need to possess your possession in the Lord Jesus Christ has been opened unto you. If you are hearing my voice today, at the sound of my voice, I come to let you know that Christ is the center of our life. When you make Christ the center of focus in your life, every door that you are asking God to open shall be opened unto you. Every door that you are believing God to open shall be opened unto you. There are situations sometimes that it might be delayed, but the Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Maybe there are doors that you are asking God for to open right now. Maybe there are needs in your life right now that you have been believing God for. Maybe you think it has been delayed, but I come to let you know today that in the presence of the law, there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand, there are pleasure forevermore. One of the greatest blessings that you can enjoy in the presence of the law is for having the King of kings and the Lord of law with you, is for having the almighty God tabernacle even in you, residing in you, he said that you might have joy and uh, that, my, that my joy might remain in you and your joy might be full. To open door makes your joy to be full. Every door that you are believing God for, I come to declare to you today that by the authority of the word of God, those doors shall be open in the name of Jesus. He is the only one. He is the one. He is the one that is true. Jesus Christ is the Holy One. Jesus Christ is the true God, is the one that has the key of David, and is the one that, that has destroyed the sin and death, and he has given us the victory on the cross of Calvary, is the one that opened doors that, that no man can shut. Today there are many, many doors that people want God to open unto them, but God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh within us. In this environment, in our present state, we know the situation that are going on everywhere. There are situations that we're asking God for. In your own life, there are needs that you are believing God for, for God to make a way for you, for God to open door for you. Everyone in this life must experience at one point or the other door that you want God to open. If you don't need any door for God to open unto you, Pray for me that God will open the door for me. But I believe you have needs in your life. I believe you have situations you are believing God for. I believe you have challenges you are believing God for. And I come to tell you today that as you listen to this, as you believe in the Lord, as you put your trust in him, all doors are open unto you in the name of Jesus. There are three areas which I want us to know. And all these areas has to do with the open doors. When doors are open unto you, Number one thing that we have to know that will happen is that when doors are open, struggles is over. When your door is open, your struggle is over. There are situations today many of us are going through a lot of difficulties, even in our own marriages, even in our own businesses, even concerning our jobs, in the life of our children. There are struggles everywhere. Even in your own personal life, there are struggles that you, you are going through that no one even can know that level of the intensity of the need, that the struggle that is going on within you. But I come to tell you today that when God opened up for you, your struggles, is over. And I come to challenge you today that how do you, how do you believe that your struggles is over? Because God is the center of it. Because Christ is at the center of it. Because Christ is the one that opened us that no man can shut. Christ is the one that opened us that no man can shut. Concerning the needs that you are believing God for. Concerning the needs that you are asking God for. Christ, those doors shall be opened in the name of Jesus. Financial breakthrough shall be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. Marital success 
shall be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. That divorce that is around your corner, around your neck, will not happen to you in the name of Jesus. That problem that is confronting you, that seems there is no way, God is going to open the door for you and make a way for you in the name of Jesus. Your business that you think is going down, I declare to you today that those struggles are over in the name of Jesus. If you are unemployed, I come to let you know today that your letter of employment is coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. If you are the one that is believing God, even for healing, your struggle is over today in the name of Jesus. Why am I saying all these things? Because I know that our God is all in all. Because I know that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Because I know is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. When I know that your struggle is over, because he is the CEO of the whole universe, because he is the one that is in charge of your life, because the breath that you are breathing, he holds it, because he is the one that calmed the storm, because he is the one that, 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 that calmed every storm of our life. And I come to tell you today that those doors that you are believing God for shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Those, the struggle is over. In Genesis chapter 26, verse 28, we have the story of Isaac. Isaac, the Bible declared that Isaac saw in the land, there was a famine in that land. And Isaac was in that land in Genesis, in, 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 in Genesis 26, Genesis 26, verse, 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 verse 22. We the, the, the account of Isaac, as we know that Isaac was in that in that land, the same land that Abraham found himself. Isaac was also in that land, and in verse twenty-two, and he removed from them and dig another world, and for that they strove not, and he called the name of it Rehoboth, and he said, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Isaac Doge was digging land and the, 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 the enemy came and, and covered it with earth. Also another land. And but now the Lord made room for Isaac. And Isaac was fruitful in that land. Whatever that you lay your hand upon, I come to declare to you by the authority of the Almighty God that God is going to make room for you. The Lord shall make room for you. The Lord shall make room for you. You shall be fruitful on every side. You shall be fruitful. In your going out, you shall be fruitful. In your coming in, you shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, they never tamper with what Isaac did again. No enemy will be able to tamper with the blessing that God has bestowed upon your life. I don't know the area where you are struggling today. I don't know that area where you are believing God for, but I come to let you know that your struggle is over. If you can do it in the days of Isaac and Abraham, because we are the, we are the recipient of the blessings of Abraham, because through the lineage of Abraham, our Lord Jesus Christ came, and we are the one that is receiving the blessing, the blessing of Abraham is ours. And we thank God because God has blessed us through the lineage of Abraham. So you are blessed with the Abrahamic blessing. And today I come to declare to you that every struggle, every pain, every difficulties be over in the name of Jesus. There are times you have to go through a lot of things. There are times you have to go through things for God to give you that breakthrough. I come to let you know today that whatever you are going through, God is going to see you through. That door that you are believing God for, God is going to open them unto you. The, the Bible says sorrow may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning. This is your morning of joy. This is your morning of victory. This is your morning of open door. This is your morning of breakthrough and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Another area which I want you to know is that there are the, the, the satisfaction 